Hello and welcome to a new, another tutorial um, all about disposal paperwork. Um, in this tutorial, I'll kind of take you through opportunities. So opportunities is the kind of the starting point of the work module. So one thing to know about opportunities is you do not have to do opportunities for the rest of the system to work. So you may want to use opportunities and then convert those opportunities to sales and then into jobs. This doesn't have to be the case. You can completely skip opportunities if you wish. Uh, unlike sales, sales is a key component of turning um, a quote or a price list or agreement into a job. Opportunities is not that. Opportunities is there to capture a bit of information very quickly um, and then pass that on to the relevant member of the organization or team. Um, so I'll kind of go off through opportunities with you now, kind of show you the different aspects of it, uh, introduce you to some of the features, and, and then we'll kind of use this opportunity and we'll kind of create an opportunity, convert that into a sale, into a job, and then into an invoice, kind of using all the system as we go. We won't do that all today in this sex session, and I've worked through this as we go. Um, so first of all, if we hit opportunities on the left hand side, we are introduced to the, we call it the opportunities table. So this has all the information about the opportunities. Uh, you can see that we've got three opportunities in here, um, two for speedy fix and one for MFNR. I um, mean, you can see our headlines, headline cards here kind of show that one is active, zero are dormant and two have been converted. So as I go through this, I'll explain what these kind of statuses are. But what we can see is that we can do different things to this table. So if we had more, we'd be able to expand the table out to show 25, 50 or 100 different entries. We can sort by pressing the dates in the fields. Um, and we can add some information as well. So we could go into this and um, edit these. So kind of the first thing to note is that when you are in this section, um, there are a number of different statuses, some of them, so converted, you can't edit them. So clicking on this down arrow normally brings up a list of actions that you can do. In, in this example, there's no action available. You can only view it. This is the only thing you can do. Whereas if we click on the down arrow here next to active, you can actually edit an active one. Um, so we're not, we're not going to, um, we're not going to edit one, we're not going to convert one. What we're going to do is we're going to actually create a brand new one. And actually it's for our friends at MFNR um, and they want a London based collection. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on new opportunity. This brings up the new opportunity kind of form. So uh, what we'll do is do a London retail collections because they've asked us to quote for London retail collections. Um, so this is a price list for the um, collection and disposal of various items uh, from the back of store um, in London. Okay, so we've got two sections here. So we've got the opportunity name and the opportunity description. So the opportunity name is just meant to be a very short uh, identifier for this opportunity, something you can kind of put in, be able to recognize and then use that later because that's actually shown in the table, the opportunities table. The description then is a lot longer description about this opportunity. This is not shown in the opportunities table. Um, so it's shown here within the opportunity itself, when you create it, when you edit it, when you view it, um, all of this information can be seen. The opportunity name though is shown in that table. So, but we'll carry on knowing that, we'll kind of carry on further down. So we've got the estimated opportunity value. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put in 150,000 and the frequency on that is per quarter. Next end, so this is where we get to the statuses. So as I mentioned before, we have active converted, but we also have dormant and lost. So active is a perfectly active opportunity. Converted means it's been converted from an opportunity to a sale. Dormant means it's gonna be quiet, gets grayed out a little bit. Lost means it's gone, 
it wasn't converted we just it never materialized um, you may also notice here that converted you can't actually choose this is because it is a it's a system status it's something that the system uses um, to let you know what has happened to it so what we're going to do is we're just going to click on active here so we've done frequency next we've got how did you hear about us so this uh, how did you hear about us is a selection that you can change within the references section so by default you get these four examples um, but you can add or remove those from the list by going into settings references and into the contact methods I can show you that at the end of this video so in this example we're going to pick customer referral okay so next field that we've got here is department so you you may remember or you may not have watched that video but um, when we were looking through the section uh, the settings area we chose that this organization so Panama was not going to have to have departments so this is why this field is optional uh, and actually if we click on it because we haven't set up any departments we can see that there's no um, there's no departments have been found so we can progress without filling this in um, but it is a field that is either there to be used or not depending on the size and kind of the function of your organization okay this is our first bit the opportunity details I'm just going to click here and all that will do is minimize it out again so I can click it and it opens click and it closes so next we're going to have a look in customer details so as I said this is going to be for our recently set up customer MFNR MFNR um, and what we're going to do is in this example we're going to use MFNR but I also want to show you how that you do not have to use a kind of a customer that's already been set up so what we're going to do is hit change customer this just takes us back to this section here now we're going to use use unlisted customer here on the right hand side it just pulls up a list that you can um, add in the only field that is needed is a customer name um, so you can fill that in all the rest are optional but the more information obviously the easier it is for uh, the sales team to kind of find that customer and contact them but as I said what we're going to use is hit find customer there and go back in and find MF and R there we go okay so customer contact details so in this example we do have a contact so it's Jordan Jordan Porter um, because we have them set up as a contact we can drag that information through but in that same way that we can kind of use an unlisted customer we can use an unlisted contact as well so in this example we're not going to actually put in a site location because it's many sites within the London area so we'll skip through this but just kind of rest assured that that works in exactly the same way so I could type in for example we have Southport in here for Southport skips uh, for MN, MFNR Southport but we're not going to fill that in same with the site details and um, so we can minimize them just to make it a little bit neat for ourselves and all the other ones and then at the bottom here we're just going to add some internal notes um, so this these aren't visible to um, your customer they aren't visible to your suppliers it's just for internal use so this might be an um, example of um, they are in quite the rush for the price list I don't think they have talked to other waste management companies there we go excellent so what this does is when we hit create it actually creates an opportunity so again you might remember in our early tutorial that we set the opportunity to the default which was OPP so this is where we've got a opportunity prefix of OPP then you just have a number after that that starts at 0001 and kind of runs up to infinite um, after that so you can see on our this is we call this a header um, you can see the customer name there the status the opportunity number in this example and the opportunity name so a short description then you can see the information below it here 
We've also got some information on the right hand side here. So this is an opportunity for me to explain how we kind of navigate through the system. So generally what we do is we move um, up and down on this side arrow, on this sidebar here. So we start opportunities, move down to sales, down to jobs, down to scheduling, down to finance. Each of these sections, each of these areas has their own sections within it. So in this example, it's details and it's attachments. So we'll move uh, left to right. So we're in details here. So the next thing we'll do is go into attachments. So attachments just allows us to add some files against this opportunity. So what I'll do here is I'll just drag and drop this download file. And what the system does is it needs to have a file type against it. So what we have here is a list of different file types you can upload, including a very useful other field. But this example here, this is actually a list of all of the waste that MFNR want us to dispose of. So we've got a drum list field here that we can upload. So we've got our attachment, our drum list, and what we can do is just hit upload files. Okay, so you can see this here in the attach files. We've got the file, we've got a size, type, who it was uploaded by, and when. What we can do if we wanted was to rename that or to archive it. In this example, that's fine. Don't need to worry about too much of that. We can also upload links. So instead of just files, what we can do is if you use kind of some form of document management software or have used websites to kind of collect information, you can actually put a name in here, put your URL in, and again, select a file type. So this keeps everything all in nice and neat. Again, in this example, we don't kind of use that. What we're gonna do is just hit remove on that and then kind of go back to details. Okay, excellent. So this is the opportunity and it's kind of dealt with. We're now going to convert it into a sale, into a quote, and we'll kind of go from there. There's some other buttons on here that kind of interact with, so we can watch this opportunity. Again, not gonna do that in this example, kind of come to the watch functionality later on um, when that, that arises with another tutorials. So what I'm gonna do is hit convert to quote. And what this does is it creates a new sale within the sales area. So you can see now that we're in the sales area, uh, sales and it's new, and it's kind of ported all of that information across. So you can see it's the London Retails Collection, got sales description, contact methods moved across. So we're not double, double kind of typing this work, all the information's moved through. And you can see that it's got a relationship here. It's got a join here with an opportunity, OPP0004, London Retails Collection. So we can see this relationship move through the system. So what we're gonna do in this example is we're gonna actually create, it, turn it into a price list, because again, this is a price list we've wrote in the sales description. I'll explain that more in later videos. Um, Customer details is ported through, customer contact details, and then any additional details at the bottom as well. Um, so what we're gonna do is hit create on that. And this has actually created a sale. Again, I won't go through sales now, uh, but we know we're in sales because you can see it here. And also this nav bar here has, is a lot longer, a lot more detailed than in the opportunity section. Okay, so that's that's kind of the opportunity section. Uh, and you can see now we've gone back into opportunities. This London Retails collection has changed from um, active, which it was before, to converted. So as we said before, we've got no action available. This is, now it's been converted, nothing can be edited in it. So one of the things I want to talk about very briefly at the end of this video is this, how did you hear about us section? So how did you hear about us? As I mentioned, is a field within, is a table within references. So if we go to references and we go into contacts, so contact methods here, and go in here and we can see there are five raw, four default um, contact methods. So what we can do is add a new method if we wanted, type that in, press submit, and then we'd see that in the list. So maybe we've got a um, chat feature on the website. So let's put in chat, uh, website chat. Submit that. Okay. And now if we go back to opportunities, I won't create a full one, but I'll show you how it works. So create opportunities. Where did you hear about us? And now there's website chat there. This is showing you how the references section can be used to update uh, other areas of um, the system. 
Okay, so that's all I've kind of got to show you in the opportunities. Uh, I hope you found that video helpful. Um, we'll take this opportunity further in later videos and convert that to sales, a price list opportunity um, to agreements, jobs, and go from there. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.